and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be closing out my week one January budget and cash stuffing my envelopes for week two. <coughs> How are you today? I hope you've been having a fantastic week and my goals this month are to do a no spend January and to start my new savings challenges. So on Friday the 30th Excuse me, I feel like I always cough in my videos now. <laughs> Groceries was £30 and cats was £62. It was an online shop and a lot of the groceries I'd ordered they did not have and some of the cat stuff. Then on Saturday the 31st I put £40 onto electric, 15 for travel, 27 on groceries and 23 on cats. The cats actually went a couple of pound over, but I just took it from groceries. And then no spend days on the first, the second, the third, and today, which is the fifth. And <clears throat> had to get milk on the fourth, Wednesday the fourth, milk and I think I got a little cake, <laughs> a little treat there, so that wasn't too bad, <clears throat> so for me my no spend month means no spending of my spending money and I'm going to try very hard not to spend too much from sinking funds either, so that was the week so far, I'm just going to move this over, so week one, Let's have a look. Some money went into the new challenges I've started, so that was good. And <coughs> most of the envelopes got spent, so cats is empty, they've got zero remaining. Spent 80, I think it was about 88 actually. And then, but I took it from groceries, like I said, groceries has got five pound left, which is really good. I spent, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can't do maths, because £4 went into the challenge, it's £5 left, did I spend 61, I think, remaining 5, I'm going to take that out, <clears throat> travel, there's nothing left, I spent 15 <clears throat> doing the no spend so it's still got the 16 pounds it started with well because some of it went into a challenge already <laughs> so I spent nothing there's 16 remaining and five pound left in miscellaneous which is going to stay in so let's see what we're going to stuff today there's 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 15 pounds in coins here. So what, 95? So groceries is getting 45. 20. Gross cats are getting nothing this week. They're going to wait for week three. Groceries is getting the 45. Groceries, and I'm giving it five pounds in coins because we're going to do a challenge. It's <laughs> so much harder to get all the money now because I'm doing some challenges and I need the coins. Travel is getting 15. 15 pounds for travel. Spending is getting 25. And I think I did it this way so I wouldn't have the conundrum of the money. 25. Nothing for bank and miscellaneous will keep its five. So, groceries is 45, travel was 15, spending was 25, and miscellaneous is five. So, I think that's done. So, this other money is for challenges. <coughs> And I had a little bit of coins. 
as always, that's what I always say, because I always only have a little bit of coins. There's 150p, and then there's 20, 40, 60, oh, 70, <laughs> that was hard work, 71p there. So let's get the savings binder. little Luigi walking there oh and he's going for the fish tank his entertainment I don't know if they like it but he, he has fun so one the 50p looking in this is empty because I don't like having a lot of coins in here although I've started the other challenges now and there's coins everywhere so that all the 50p's are in another little bag. <coughs> right, I'm going to think I'll take the one pound from spending money. So one pound 71. I don't know if I can work that out on my own. I need a calculator. 171 minus 96. So 96 and 75 we could do. And they will go into the coin jar, which is off, off screen. Okay, so I've done those. Now we can do our other challenges. Um, I think I'm going to take that away. We don't need it. So there's a little bit of room. So the 5 and 10 challenge here is from Budget with Ped. And I'm using it to be my emergency... I mean, my bill buffer, not my emergency, my bill buffer, and this week it needs £10. So £10 for week two, and now it's just got 15 in there. We are also doing, what are we doing? We're doing Dice Dice Baby. from my spending money. So I've started this last week and let's have a look and roll the dice, see if we get ones this week. Got a zero, so that's ten. Ten pounds coming out of my spending money. It's not bothering me too much this month because I'm doing no spend anyway, so <laughs> have the ten pounds. Uh, ten pound out of spending. So there's already nineteen pound in there, which is pretty pretty good. I don't know if you just saw that cat. That was that was Figgy. And roll and save is from the grocery budget. So let's see how much we're taking out of groceries. Four pounds. So this week it had 45, now it's got 41. I'm not going to roll twice, I don't think. So four pounds from groceries. Like I put my big head in the camera then. So, <clears throat> eight pounds in there. And what else are we doing this week? We're not doing week five. Oh, I wanted to show you at the end of the week. I did start this. This is the one I'm doing zero out my online, my, my bank account putting it into my online savings that's linked. So last week I hadn't done it, but I did off after the video. So week one, I rolled over £4.12 and week two, £5.32. So that was today. So already that's nearly, what, £9.50 in two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So I'm going to see. I want to hopefully do it all year, but if I feel like it's, you know, really depleting my buffer or something, I might have to rethink it. But so far, it's fine. Um, I've got a new um, savings challenge from My Money Matters. I think you've probably seen this one in lots of people's videos. Little Lamb Saved 100 Challenge. And I think I'm going to use that for week five. Let's pop it in here. Say thanks, Esther. It's a good one. And last week I put in 10, so I can tick off a 10. Nothing for it this week. Um, I do not know what I'm going to do with my leftover spending money from doing a no spend. For so for now. It was £16. We used the one. I'm just going to pop it in this envelope. I wonder if I'll remember what that is. <laughs> You'll have to remind me next time. And what else are we doing? So the £5, we have to do our spend and save. Is it spend and save? Yes, it is. I wrote it on here, so now I know. It's not save and spend. It's spend and save. We need to do that. And I did also receive another order I'd made a little while ago. It took a while to arrive because of good old Royal Mail, but Scottish Highlander on a budget. And I got this super duper McMoo five pound challenge. So I am kind of want to put my five pound from groceries in this, but I also have my little envelope challenge that I made. My budget save grow inspired envelope challenge with all the little envelopes that were made from mandalas, um, mandala colouring in. Oh, and some pigs. I wonder where they came from, Esther. Thank you. Um, I just don't know. I don't know if I can do McMoo and the envelope challenge. So I think I'm going to leave the um, the McMoo for now. But it's beautiful. I got the rainbow. The rainbow one. And it's really nice. Thank you Scottish Highlander on a budget. Uh, so I think this £5 is going to go into my envelope challenge. My 52 week budget save grow envelope challenge. Also, a long while ago, <laughs> I won the giveaway from Yorkshire Budgets, the lovely Michelle, thank you, and she sent me £5, and I hadn't done anything with it, it's been sitting in there, so there's £10, and I thought, oh, should I do five and five for the McMoo and the envelope, but I'm going to put this all, in, all, all £10 into my envelope challenge. There's one with a nice cat or a black panther on there to start us off. If I can open my envelope. So there's actually like little um, mandalas inside them as well. So £10 to start off our envelope challenge. And in it goes. All right, <clears throat> spend and save. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited for spend and save? I am. <laughs> so there's 10 pound allocated for spend and save. So what is it? Spend and save. So whatever I land on goes in spend. Whatever is left is save. Let's roll the dice and find out where this little pig is going to travel to. One! Oh, this dice. You only move one space. So one space lands on number one. So we're saying we're spending, spending one pound. So let's put it in the stylish spend jar. One pound in. 
and we're saving nine pounds, which is really good. Nine pounds in to our save jar. So I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we've done everything we need to do. So for those of you who have stuck around to the end, let me show you my crochet I've been working on in my crochet course. So I've done three weeks now. Just reaching over to get it. So week one was a granny square, traditional granny square, and I've managed to make all six of them. I was on holidays, had the time. They take me ages, but I do like them. So that was week one. Week two was called a solid granny square. So we learnt some different stitches. And they look like this. So they are different. Week one and week six. I mean, week six. Week two this was. Week two. And I got six of them as well. One of them slightly dodgy, but it's okay. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. And then last night was week three and we made a spike stitch granny square so it's very much like week one but in these little gaps there's a longer stitch so which is a spike stitch who knew i learned that last night it's very relaxing very fun. Let's see if I can actually make six of them in a week while I've since I've gone back to work. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, what I've been doing lately. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.